beautiful friends in our today's video we are going to be having a story time of a Zimbabwean lady by the name of Elsie 35 years of age this story is so interesting very very juicy so Elsie found love on online dating apps with a Zimbabwean guy who is living in Australia because everything was going so so good they planned to meet for that first meeting and what happened after their first meeting will shock you guys and as someone who is on online dating apps searching it's gonna shine your eyes <laughs> so dear friends before i jump into our today's video this video or this story was inspired by samantha's story if you remember samantha the namibian lady who got abandoned at the airport here in Italy by her Italian boyfriend, Ricardo. So Elsie watched that video and checked me out on Instagram, was like, I bumped into your YouTube channel. I really love your content and I have a story to share with you. So I was like, oh, thank you so much. You can share your story with me. So that is how I got to know Elsie or that is how I got the story. So dear friends, for us to understand very well this story and get close to Elsie, we need to know Elsie's past love relationship experience. It is very, very important because when you hear a lady has been to online dating apps, you are like, why did she go to the dating apps? What pushed her to join online dating apps? So let's get deeper into Elsie's past love relationship experience. How was it like? So dear friends, Elsie tells us her love story started way back then when she was 17 years of age at high school, A level, form 5. She was dating a guy who was at the university on his second year taking a degree in accounting. This guy was Zimbabwean just like Elsie. He was very romantic, very caring, used to go to school to visit Elsie with lots of gifts, used to spoil Elsie so, so much. So the relationship continued and Elsie finished high school, but unfortunately, she did not get good passes, which could allow her to be selected to go to the university. So what she decided to do, looked for a job and started working as a cashier in one of the hardware. And at that time, the boyfriend had finished the university and found a very good job. He was very, very financially stable. Everything was good, 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 lovey-dovey. Elsie tells us the guy's family knew that they were dating and even her family knew that she was dating that guy. Elsie's family liked that guy so, so much because he was a good guy, had a career job, you know? <laughs> yeah, so they saw that their daughter was on the right track. So after five years of dating, this guy guy proposed to Elsie but guys Elsie's response she said no and the reason why she said no said Bella I wanted to take a career course getting married wasn't what I wanted at that time so I had to tell my boyfriend that please wait for me for two or three years I want to take a nursing course when I finish we can get married but the guy was like, no, this is the time I want to get married. If you are not ready now, then let's end the relationship. So in the end, they decided to end that relationship. That was Elsie's first relationship. So guys, if you wanted to know if Elsie shared the goodies <laughs> in her first relationship, the answer is yes. She shared the goodies when she turned 18 till when they ended their relationship in 2012. So dear friends, when that relationship ended, that was 2012, Elsie got a chance to go to South Africa for her father studies. Because in South Africa, they were taking her with her lower passes. So she went to South Africa 2012 to study her bachelor degree. So 
she studied till 2016, that is when she graduated, and after graduating, found a job in South Africa, worked for one year. After that one year, applied for her master's. So Elsie tells us from 2012, when she broke up with that guy, then went to South Africa, never dated anyone. And the reason is, wanted to concentrate on her studies. She tells us that she's someone who loves studying so, so much. So she went to Thailand and her master's was for only one year. After that one year, got a job in Thailand and then started working. So guys, when she started working in Thailand, her mind was settled down ready to start dating but she tells us she came across challenges of finding someone in thailand so her problem number one or her challenge number one to why she couldn't find anyone in thailand to date is because thai men don't speak english so they can't approach her to ask her out another thing is that they are very very shy challenge number two is that even the white guys that are there, they are after Thai women. Also, Thai women are so into foreign men, so they can't spare any foreign man that goes to Thailand. So for her, it was very, very difficult to get a guy to date in Thailand. She tells us in 2018, got very, very frustrated due to that. So guys, 2018 passed just like that. Elsie wasn't in a relationship with anyone due to the challenges that I told you. Then 2019 February, got a message on Facebook from a Zimbabwean guy who was living in America working as a professor. This message was like, hi, you are so beautiful. I got interested and it's because Elsie was a mutual friend to that guy's friend. That is how he discovered Elsie and decided to write a message to her. Guys, another interesting thing about this Zimbabwean guy who was working in America as a professor is that he studied the same school with Elsie, only that he was four streams ahead of Elsie. So they never got to know each other. So they started talking and after two months of talking, they decided to be in a love relationship. So they started dating officially. They could talk on a video call three hours a day. This guy was very, very consistent. He was so romantic. The guy was super, super good. Elsie trusted him so much, could feel his presence in his absence. Can you imagine, guys, <laughs> when love is in the air? <laughs> they kept on with their relationship. Everything was very good. Then this guy started talking of how to meet. As they were discussing on how to meet, came a problem that this guy couldn't travel outside America because he was waiting for his green card. So for him to go to Thailand, that means he was supposed to apply again the visa to enter America, a very complicated situation. So he couldn't travel at all. So the only way out, he invited Elsie to America. They went through the visa process, but unfortunately, Elsie was denied the visa to go to America. After being denied the visa, they started thinking or looking for a way to go to America. So they came out with an option that Elsie should apply for her PhD to America. And she applied and luckily got it. She was so happy. Even the guy was super, super happy, very excited. So her studies were starting in 2020. We all remember that 2020, that is when everything was shut down due to COVID. So Elsie couldn't even apply for the visa to go to America for her studies. She had to wait till 2021 when the borders are reopened. So after all this COVID situation, Elsie asked the guy, are you ready to wait 
till next year the guy said yes and i think the reason why elsie was asking this guy it's because of her past relationship we remember that the first guy couldn't wait for her to finish her studies and then ended the relationship so she asked this guy two times are you ready to wait for me the guy said yes i am ready to wait for you but deep inside elsie's heart she felt very frustrated felt very very low because all her hopes to meet this guy were shattered but this guy kept on telling her don't worry i love you i can't wait for you so we go back to elsie's life in thailand at that time so guys we have afro cinema <laughs> due to what lc was going through emotionally had this filipino friend he was a guy then one day this filipino friend came to lc told her you know what there is this new guy who came he's from zimbabwe we're working together i think i should connect you guys lc was very happy very excited cause tells us it is very very rare to find a zimbabwean in thailand so guys yes they connected then started flirting one thing led to another they fell in love but this zimbabwean guy in thailand knew that elsie had a boyfriend in america told elsie don't worry i am ready to be a side dish <laughs> This guy is crazy. Accepted to be the side dish and told her that I have hopes maybe things will work out between us. But for now, let us leave the moment. So Elsie tells you that at that time she had two boyfriends. She was double dating. <laughs> Because remember she has another Zimbabwean boyfriend in America and now she has another Zimbabwean guy in Thailand <laughs> so guys she kept on with her two relationships and then 2020 December on 25th got a message from the Zimbabwean guy in America the boyfriend told her that i am going to a christmas party i'll check you later she was like okay and because she was at peace she trusted this guy never doubted him at all everything was okay but tells us from that 25th never heard again from this guy started getting worried was like oh my god did he get an accident maybe on his way back home why is he quiet he wasn't available at all what she decided to do called the brother of that guy because had a phone number of the brother <laughs> and asked him is he fine the brother was like yes he's very fine so she got very very angry and 12th january this guy returned was like i'm so sorry i made a mistake he was even crying elsie tells us <laughs> that when he went to the party started confessing met a lady and then took this lady to his house they've been living together from that 25th of december please forgive me can we get back together and because the trust was broken they decided to end that relationship and go separate ways so guys she remained with one boyfriend the one that was in thailand the zimbabwean guy i think you remember <laughs> she had two boyfriends but tells us also things were not going well they started fighting on everything every day could be fights 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 it went till april 2021 she decided to end that relationship and stay in peace so they broke up she remained single now we go to how did she come to know about dating apps so guys after the breakup that april 2021 decided to give herself a break concerning relationships concentrated on herself empowering herself emotionally and physically because i told you she likes to study also took some online courses so it was all about her loving herself enjoying life while single so she remained single from april 2021 till february 
2022 started getting very very frustrated you know her age i told you she is 35 right now as i am talking so she was like i am getting old and you know in our african society if you reach 30 people start asking when are you getting married when are you going to have kids why are you still single so that one really frustrated her so much and she was like what can i do also tells us has a sister in zimbabwe so that february called the sister and was telling her her, her frustrations her worries concerning relationships then the sister was like you my sister you have been abroad for so many years you have exposure why are you wasting your time with these african guys why can't you date a white guy then elsie was like where will i get a white guy those white guys that are here in thailand they are after thai women so where will i get him the sister laughed and was like go to the dating apps you will find someone to marry you so that is when elsie came to know about the dating apps went to google and typed top best dating apps then got afro introductions and okay cupid after getting afro introductions and okay cupid decided to download them so after downloading afro introduction and okay cupid set her profile and uploaded very beautiful photos of herself wrote very good words on her bio everything was set good 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 to attract men so friends osi's original plan was to find a white man for marriage just like a sister advised her so when she joined the dating apps started getting likes messages and tells us at first it was very difficult for her to know how to respond you know when you are new to the dating apps especially on afro introductions sometimes it can be confusing you receive messages but you can't open them if you are using a free version and the guy is using a free version so she was like how can i respond but in the end she found her way out so elsie's first plan was to find a white guy but not only a white guy wanted a white guy from australia or new zealand tells us australia has been her dream country that is why she wanted if she finds a husband should come from that country so guys due to what she wanted filtered guys from australia only and never wanted a guy who has kids or who has ever had a wife no she wanted a fresh guy so she kept on searching and searching you know chatting with different men and then one day received a message of a zimbabwean guy who was living in australia so when she received his message rushed to his profile to you know go through it i told you this is the trick to know if a guy is serious or not always go to his profile before you respond so she did exactly like i always advise you and after going through his profile that is when she discovered he is from zimbabwe lives in australia so she responded in shona so when the guy got a message was very excited elsie too was super super excited because never expected to find a zimbabwean guy on online dating apps so immediately they started talking and due to the excitement Elsie lost focus forgot all her plans <laughs> that brought her to online dating apps and started ignoring all other guys that were sending her messages on online dating apps they kept on talking and the second day this guy requested for her whatsapp numbers so when they exchanged phone numbers they kept on chatting on whatsapp and everything was flowing like they had known each other for so long maybe it's because they were from the same country zimbabwe 
and on the third day this guy requested for a video call made a video call and when he saw Elsie was like wow you're so beautiful more than in the photos you know guys <laughs> how they always give us compliments to melt our hearts <laughs> so Elsie felt so happy everything was going so good this guy at that time when he made a video call he was at home told Elsie I live with my other three friends everyone in his own room this house is a four bedroom house I work as a medical but the problem here in Australia accommodation can be very very expensive that is why I am living with my friends Elsie didn't find it as a problem and was like it's okay the reason he gave it makes sense so when they started talking they agreed that they are going to keep on getting to know each other and then when they meet that is when they will start dating so they kept on making video calls they were both busy because Elsie works and this guy is a medical so he's always at work but whenever they could get time they could talk this guy was very very transparent he could make video calls even when he is at work when he gets a break when he's at home he could video call before he goes to sleep he could video call and Elsie could see even the room so this gave her more assurance and created lots of trust in this guy so that same same February this guy started talking of meeting when Elsie heard about this guy talking of meeting she was like wow this guy is God sent this guy is the one this guy is very serious you know <laughs> Because a guy who talks of meeting, that shows you are going in the right direction. So their plan was, this guy was supposed to go to Thailand mid-March and then April, when Elsie is on leave, goes to Australia. So he told Elsie, because visa process can take so long, it is better you start applying for your visa now. I'm going to send you the invitation letter and everything. So he sent the invitation letter, they did the visa process, Elsie was so excited, told her friends, her friends were so happy, they were like, wow, this guy is so genuine, you are so lucky, he started praising the guy and luckily got a multiple entry visa to Australia. So her visa is expiring 2025, wow. And the truth is, the guy paid for everything concerning the visa was like i know you are an independent woman but i am going to take care of your trip i want to be responsible elsie was like okay wow this is a good man so guys when the visa came out elsie was super excited the first person to call was John. <laughs> this guy's name is John. So called John I was like, John, I've got the visa to come to Australia. To her surprise, this guy was like, oh, that's good for you. I am happy for you. So Elsie was like, why are you saying I'm happy for you? You should say I am happy for us. So she got like question marks and left it like that. Never bothered to go further. So they kept on communicating. Everything was going well. Elsie tells us she could wake up with beautiful romantic good morning messages and at that time it was approaching his time to come to Thailand then he started coming up with lots of stories my car broke down my mother is sick lots lots of problems I have lots of responsibilities back home so Elsie as an African woman you know started feeling bad and was like oh so since I started knowing this guy he has started to get problems is it me started giving herself fault in Swahili we could say anagundu <laughs> <laughs> meaning she has bad luck so her bad luck is going also to the boyfriend so that is how she felt like oh my god i'm causing this guy trouble maybe it's me why is that when we started dating that is when all these problems started rising up she even offered this guy help told him i'm going to lend you 300 dollars so that you can help yourself and once everything is okay you can refund back the money so 
because this guy was going through lots of problems, Elsie couldn't ask, are you coming? They continued communicating and Elsie introduced him to the sister. So sometimes they could make a three-way call so that this guy can talk to a sister. And this guy told the sister on a video call that if everything goes well, if we click when we meet, I'm gonna get married to your sister. Cause the next leave of Elsie was supposed to be in October. So in October, they planned that they will go to Zimbabwe so that he can pay for the bride price and then get married, take her to Australia as his wife on a sponsor visa. Also, John introduced Elsie to his friend who was living in China. Actually, this friend wanted to relocate to Thailand for work, so wanted Elsie's help because she is in Thailand. That is how they got connected. So they kept on communicating and the $300, John refunded it to Elsie. Everything was good, but you know he is in problems so he couldn't travel and Elsie's visa was out already. In the end, they decided it is Elsie who should go to Australia. So all this while they were talking, never discussed about the goodies because you remember they said they will start dating or they will discuss about dating when they meet for the first time. So after deciding that Elsie was going to Australia to meet John, John booked for the ticket, paid for everything, even sent her money to buy some warm clothes to Australia. Oh my God. She says he spent $4,000 on that trip. Also, he asked her if she is comfortable staying with her and the friends. Then Elsie was like, no, I don't want to stay with your friends. I want to stay in a private place with you. So this guy booked for a B&B, a very nice B&B in Australia. The day to travel came, Elsie went to Australia. John was at the airport waiting for her never disappeared guys at the airport John did not come with any flowers or presents <laughs> Elsie was surprised but told herself maybe that is how some African guys can be not romantic <laughs> so they hugged they were happy to see each other then went to the B&B are you ready for Afro cinema? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> so after arriving at the BNB, the BNB was really nice and then went for dinner. After dinner, returned to the BNB, did not talk all that much, cuddled and slept. No goodies were shared that night. So the next morning, cause John had took four days leave from work, asked Elsie, where do you want me to take you in Sydney? So what Elsie did, wrote down all the places that she wanted to visit in Sydney. And yes, John took her to those places. Elsie tells us she went to see the Blue Mountain, went to see the Opera House, everything was good good treated her very very well she was so happy gave her money to do some shopping again and also gave her some money to spend with her friends because elsie planned to meet her friends that lives in sydney and hang out <laughs> even offered to give her his car to go hang out with friends but elsie refused and was like no i'll just take a taxi so that second day after going play says they returned again to the BNB and at that time Elsie was confused she was like why is this guy not talking about our relationship because we agreed when we meet that is when we're gonna discuss about our relationship so Elsie asked the guy before they went to sleep who are we? What are we doing? Because I'm not comfortable sleeping with a guy without knowing who are we? Where is our relationship? Where does it stand? <laughs> Then this guy started telling Elsie, oh, you are too ahead of me. I plan to do something on Friday for you as a surprise, but you have ruined everything. Asking me, I wanted to do things at my own time. He even got very, very offended and told Elsie, it is self-explanatory that I love you. What do you want else? I love you. <laughs> it did not convince so much Elsie the way this guy was saying, I love you. But again, she 
said okay so they slept and that night they shared their goodies <laughs> and the next morning when they went for tour around sydney they were holding hands you know he could kiss her he started making some moves towards her <laughs> so elsie went met her friends she was so happy enjoyed her time in sydney then friday came so when friday came elsie thought that that surprise that the boyfriend talked about he's gonna do it but came friday evening at night and nothing happened so she was like oh so this guy was serious <laughs> And the next morning, it was Saturday, this guy was supposed to work. So that Saturday, when he was preparing to go to work, she was like, let me try to pretend so that this guy can stay with me. She pretended that she was crying, didn't want the guy to go to work, wanted him to stay with her. <laughs> so when this guy saw her pretending to cry, believed that she was crying. He got so, so angry, was like, why are you crying? I have to go to work and you knew that I have to go to work. Why are you acting up like that? I don't like it. So when Elsie saw that the guy was serious and angry, <laughs> told him I was just kidding. Just put the lights on and see my eyes. I'm not crying. I was just kidding because I wanted you to stay with me. But again, a guy got so, so angry and went to work. So when he returned back to the B&B from work, he was still angry and told Elsie, I did not like the way you acted this morning. <laughs> told the guy that I am sorry, I told you in the morning that I was only joking. You should understand me. Don't make a big deal out of it. <laughs> so it ended and that Saturday was the last night of Elsie to be in Australia. So guys, Elsie tells us the whole week when she was in Sydney, it was going out, having dinners, never discussed about their relationship. So at that time as a woman, started feeling like, who I am to this guy? Why isn't he discussing about our relationship? So she didn't know even where their relationship was at that moment. <laughs> was kind and happy about everything, asked him and he was like, we will still discuss it, don't worry. So the next day, she returned to Thailand. So when she returned in Thailand, after three days, they did a video call and she asked the guy, so now are we dating? Are we in a relationship? Because it was still in her mind, you know, to find yourself in a situation that you don't know where your relationship stands, it really, really frustrates. I'm telling you, that is why I've been advising you that never accept to be in a relationship with a guy or you are just chatting with a guy and he tells you, I will talk about our relationship. So you are not sure. Are you dating? Are you the girlfriend? Who are you to this guy? <laughs> What's the meaning of your relationship? Never accept to be in such kind of a situation because it isn't good at all. So she asked John again, are we in a relationship now? After three days of her returning to Thailand, John was like, no, we are not in a relationship. We are not dating. So Elsie was very, very surprised by his response how can you say that after all the efforts you put in for us to meet for us to be together how can you say we are not dating we are not in a relationship so where are we going this guy was like no i need some other meeting and we are not in a relationship due to the way you behaved the other day if you remember when she pretended to cry also he said i don't like a woman to go ahead of me so he went ahead of me to ask me if i love you if we are in a relationship so i still need another meeting so that we can discuss about it so elsie was like i told you i am sorry and i told you i was joking about it he said no for me i took it badly if we get married are you going to act like that that's why i need some more time so he made it a very big deal got offended to be asked who are we? <laughs> oh my God, men or oh men, you will never see heaven, I told you. <laughs> if you act like this, 
So Elsie kept on explaining like it was awkward for me to sleep in a bed with a guy that I don't know who he is to me. Is he my boyfriend? Are we dating? Are we in a relationship? That is why I asked you. Elsie told him, if you're looking for a way out, just tell me. If you found some other woman, be open and tell me the truth than making a big deal out of these silly things. I don't see why you should get offended for me to ask you if you love me, if we are in a relationship. So they talked that day, actually they were fighting and the guy ended the call very, very angry. So Elsie was so, so worried. And after that call, the guy went quiet. It made more Elsie very, very worried because she wanted the relationship to work, decided to call John's friend, you know, that friend who was in China and told the friend everything that she went to Australia. They had planned that they are going to discuss about their relationship but they never discussed and then when she asked again he got angry got very very offended so guys we have another afro cinema here <laughs> due to how the friend responded the friend told elsie i didn't know that you guys were in a relationship he only told me that you are his friend and when he went to australia he never said that he is the one who sponsored that trip i didn't know anything at all he even felt very very betrayed by john because they have been friends for 15 years so told elsie john told me you're going to australia to visit your cousin and you just passed to greet him because you are only friends but if you're telling me you guys have been more than friends and he even paid for the trip for you to go to australia then i'm telling you elsie you are a very educated woman and a mature woman to read between the lines so the answer that you have right now that's the answer because if someone loves you how can he get offended by being asked if we are in a relationship that means he is not serious so this answer did not convince Elsie that much. It gave her more curiosity to look for John. So she wrote a message to John on WhatsApp and was like, John, I am so sorry. Please let us talk. What John did blocked her on WhatsApp. Tells us that night did not sleep. In the morning had to look for John on Telegram. On Telegram, John did not block her. Chatted with her and she said, I am sorry. Let us give it a try. John said, okay, let us give it a try. But John was very, very cold with her. Not like the way he was before. So this time it was Elsie pushing herself to John so that the relationship can work. work. Dear ladies, if you're watching this video, never run after a man. Never push yourself to a man. If you see a guy is showing you that he is not that interested in you, better end it. You know, be on your own. Move forward. Cancel him because it won't bring good results if you keep pressing. But for Elsie, says that she saw John was no longer interested but kept on pressing because he was in love already. So guys, John changed very very much Elsie could call him sometimes he could not respond she could send messages he could take six good hours before he responds but Elsie did not give up kept on believing that that relationship is gonna work out so at that time when Elsie was pressing was keeping on pushing the relationship it was one-sided <laughs> and i've been telling you love is two-sided so never ignore that guys <laughs> in june john sent a message to Elsie. was like i am in zimbabwe i came for my uncle's funeral but i have a problem i did not book my flight back to australia i want you to help me because i've spent lots of money here i don't have money anymore i want you to send me 900 dollars but elsie tells us at that time she did not have that money told him i don't have that money but also tells us if she had that money the stupidity in her the mumu in her <laughs> Could have sent that money to John because she was still in love guys so the one side relationship continued like that because 
she was the one pressing <laughs> like i told you and mid-july john called the lc told her that i want to come to thailand to meet you so that we can talk and discuss more about our relationship lc was super super happy to hear the news and was like oh my god john you are really a man of surprises so because john was going to thailand Elsie had to work so hard, could go even the days when she was sick. It happened that she got very sick but kept on forcing herself to go to work. Then one day returned from work, had to call the girlfriend of John's friend, you know, they were friends too, they could talk. When she called, had Elsie coughing, was like, Elsie, are you coughing? She said, yes, but you told me you're from work. Why did you go to work? while you are sick so elsie had to explain and be like john is coming here in thailand to visit me i have to work a lot because i have to take some days off when he is here are you ready for another afro cinema <laughs> so guys at that time john's friend's girlfriend had to ask elsie are you really dating this guy yes we are dating then the lady told her you know what elsie we have been friends for so long me and my husband wanted to tell you this but again we were scared of how to tell you the truth is john is married he is a married man elsie tells us that when she heard that almost fainted because she couldn't believe what that lady was telling her so she kept on telling her that yes he's married he got married in 2017 actually it was june's wife who was in australia before and then when she got married to john john went to australia on a sposal visa can you imagine guys how men can be so so cruel you bring him to the country and again cheats on you <laughs> I don't know guys i don't know even what to say she went ahead and added that last week was their anniversary she called us on a video call we congratulated them to make matters worse john's wife is pregnant right now as we are talking elsie was like are you sure of what you're saying i don't believe you so john's friend's girlfriend told her elsie i cannot lie to you this couple has a youtube channel go on youtube and watch them if you think i'm lying to you so elsie rushed went on youtube and true to her surprise on john and the wife on youtube they were so much in love with each other on youtube that is what they were showing when she saw that was so so angry that john wasted her time that john lied to her she went back to the friend's girlfriend and told her i have seen their youtube channel so it is true why did john lie to me so the friend was like you know what elsie we have to expose john he can't keep on doing like that he is in australia just because of his wife and then brings girlfriends to australia it's not good at all so i'm going to give you her phone numbers yes she gave her the phone numbers of john's wife whatsapp numbers gave her the name she uses on facebook and on instagram told her do not write to her on whatsapp because whatsapp is private she's gonna be like where did you get my number <laughs> so just check her on instagram so she went on instagram wrote her a message was like i am elsie i bumped onto your youtube channel i like your content i have some questions to ask you but she did not respond wrote on facebook same same things three days passed she did not respond so because elsie was very very angry and wanted to expose john went on whatsapp and wrote a message to john's wife she was like hello i come in peace i know you are a victim just like me i've been dating john without knowing i met him on online dating apps he never told me he has a wife i knew he was single told her everything sent her all the screenshots tells us she sent almost 150 screenshots as evidence <laughs> to make the wife believe the story that she was telling her so after sending everything the wife was like 
Thank you so much for letting me know. So it ended like that. Elsie went to Telegram. Elsie was still chatting with John, never confronted him about him having a wife. <laughs> then it was time to power everything that she felt, insulted him, told him bad, bad words. <laughs> Something funny, she told him, you have a small manhood. No woman will ever want you. I'm even surprised why your wife is still with you. <laughs> told him bad, bad words and after that blocked John. So Elsie tells us it ended like that and then in September, she doesn't know what happened in their house. John's wife returned and started insulting Elsie, telling her that you are a dumb, you are a home wrecker, you are very desperate, you will never find any man to marry you. So she was very, very surprised and the wife confessed that she is the ninth woman John to cheat with can you imagine guys and she is still tolerating all and sad sad news is that after she got the news was cheating on her with Elsie got a miscarriage so when she came back was also blaming Elsie that she is the one that caused the miscarriage but the truth is it is not Elsie that caused the miscarriage it's the husband because it's the husband that lied to Elsie. Elsie is a victim too, but this lady has refused to see the truth. I don't know what lies John told her because I know some African men very, very well. They can lie until you believe them. <laughs> I'm really really sorry she got a miscarriage because it is not something you can wish a woman to have even Elsie was so so sorry to hear about that another thing that made Elsie get more surprised or shocked is that even the car that John went with to pick her at the airport was of the wife the car that he offered Elsie takes to go hang out with friends was all the wife oh my god this man so all the truth came out this guy had a chance to cheat on the wife because the wife also is a medical so when the wife is at work john is at home when john is at home the wife is at work that is why he had all that free time to do everything that he did so guys quickly from all this story please never ignore any red flag red flag number one was when this guy told her it is good for you <laughs> after getting the visa red flag number two when she went to australia was supposed to ask this guy to take her to this friend's house and confirm if it is true this guy was living with friends which is not true because the house that he showed was the same same house that he lived with the wife another thing that we learn from this story never stay in a relationship that you are not sure if you feel like you are not convinced if you feel like this guy might be wasting your time better act up as early as possible is he chatting with you as who as a friend as a girlfriend you should know they shouldn't tell you i'm going to tell you my feelings when i meet you no because they first feel it i told you it starts here by thinking then to the heart when he meets you that's when he confirms it so guys let's go to the best part of today's story after all that happened to elsie she was so so heartbroken and felt so lonely so she was like i can't sit here and give up i'm not gonna give up so she returned to the dating apps has a friend in america this friend phoned a guy on that dating app that she recommended to elsie to try told her the app is so classy it is so so nice you're gonna find the one only that you need to pay twenty dollars she was like what is twenty dollars i'm going to pay it so that i can find the man of my dreams so elsie tells us met very amazing guys on that dating apps but most of them wanted someone who is in australia or in new zealand distance was a problem to them so she kept on with her search so one day elsie was on that dating app online searching and then saw that there is a guy who viewed her profile and sent her a smile so tells us in that dating app if someone views your profile they notify you and if they send a smile you see that someone has smiled at you so you have to 
smile back. So before she smiled back, she went to this guy's profile, found out that he was 37 years of age, a very handsome Australian guy, never married. She went and smiled back at him, then the guy sent a hi. So after sending a hi, Elsie started chatting with the guy, and from there, that's when everything started. <laughs> then asked for WhatsApp numbers, they exchanged, the next day, the guy asked for a video call. So when they made a video call, they were so happy to see each other on a video call. The guy was like, you're so beautiful. <laughs> they always say that we are beautiful. But Elsie was so, so happy because this guy was super, super sweet. Good in keeping on the conversation going. And this time, Elsie was like, no, I'm going to stick my original plan. So we should learn, guys, stick to your original plan don't accept any distraction <laughs> you know to keep you out of your original plan so in this new relationship elsie was like wanted someone to keep her busy because she was heartbroken initially they had agreed that they should not talk about dating or any relationship they should just keep knowing each other again <laughs> but as they kept on getting to know each other talking they found themselves getting so deep start discussing about relationship and in the end they were like what are we waiting for we should start dating <laughs> and this is how things should be someone shouldn't tell you oh let us wait till we meet why <laughs> there is no need because you cannot premeditate falling in love it just happens without you knowing so they started dating this guy has been so amazing he introduced elsie to the mother the mother liked her and tells elsie the mother always asks about her this is so so beautiful so they kept on growing their relationship they talk every single day tells us from august till now as we are talking he has never disappeared he is there is very open with her has made lots lots of future plans with her another loving thing about this guy elsie tells us october 10th was her birthday this guy called elsie and sang for her in shona early in the morning <laughs> she was so so happy and tells us it was so sexy to hear him singing in shona because he is learning shona at the same time so guys the name of the dating app where elsie found this cute australian guy is called eHarmony i've shared this dating app before yes i remember so guys i really wish to tell you a lot about this beautiful love story but hey <laughs> the video has become so so long we have to end it here so the next plan this cute australian guy is going to thailand in january and lc promises us that if things goes well and i pray everything goes well because i can see a very beautiful success story <laughs> she will share with us everything so there is part two coming soon just be patient and keep waiting stick here with me <laughs> guys that was Elsie's love story thank you so much for watching till now god bless you please give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this love story and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good don't forget to comment below what you think about this video subscribe please if you have not subscribed i love you so much you're always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao Mwah.